Today I wanted to introduce you in January to a new genus of plants which I think are really going to take off in woodland gardens and I think are absolutely superb for this time of year particularly. And this is a polyspora. Polyspora are evergreen trees and shrubs. Uh, they come from China and northern Vietnam and they're relatively little known in gardens yet. But here we have a large flower with a bee just leaving it of Polyspora speciosa. It's a camellia-like flower and indeed Polyspora are closely related to camellias. And initially they were they were thought uh, they were thought to be a, a form of camellia and were named as such uh, way back a hundred years ago. The more recent name for Polyspora was Gordonia. Gordonias are really conservatory plants as we've known them, uh, although we can just about grow them outside in Cornwall, uh, but we've never been able to flower them. Um, and botanists and taxonomists have now split the rather more tender Gordonia from Polyspora, which are very much more vigorous plants and all our plants here have happily survived from the beast from the east in March 2018 and certainly they've faced up to an air temperature of minus 20 with no ill effect so I think they're going to be proved to be much hardier than we think. Just, just look at the sheer size and scale of the stamens and anthers and the petals in this wonderful plant and look too at the sheer number of buds in each inflorescence. I mean, we've got one flower out and we've got five more gigantic buds waiting to come out. Polyspora have a very peculiar um, seed structure, uh, which is instantly recognisable with very uh, pointed seeds, uh, which contain up to five uh, different uh, individual seeds. At the moment this is this is a plant that's been in the ground about five or six years. You can see it's starting to turn into a tree and we'll go and look at some other plants in the garden which are a bit older which uh, don't have necessarily quite the same size of flower and they may not be as well out as this one is but I think it merits just having a look at a few other plants to see where, where we are with this new genus. And this is another species of Polyspora, uh, Polyspora longicarpa. And this is a plant which is only now developing into a tree. It was much more of a shrub and it's been in the ground for about 15 years. It's been battered by the recent gales, but you can still see uh, the white flowers and uh, the first of these appeared in November out in flower and although they're not as impressive as Polyspora speciosa you can see that there's still plenty of buds to come all over the tree and it's now up to a good 12 feet possibly more with plenty of flower buds right at the top of it and there's one more species to look at which grows just over here uh, this is Polyspora axillaris, um, which as you can see is about 20 years old and is already making a tree. It too has been blasted a bit by the recent gales, but there are flower buds right at the top, which you can just make out. And here we've got a tree that's a good 15, if not 20 feet tall, in about a similar number of years. When we look at these three species of Polyspora, um, it's clear that the botany is still not fully understood. They're a, a Polyspora with pink in bud that are white in flower. There are Polyspora that have got pink flowers, which grow at Tregrain Gardens to a similar sort of height. But there is enormous confusion still amongst taxonomists and botanists as to actually how we classify 
these species and how many species there really are or they're going to prove to be. Uh, it may be that the names that I've given these plants, which were what they were collected as, mainly by, uh, uh, mainly by Krug Farm Nurseries, um, and some by Tom Hudson, and some by French collectors. It may be that taxonomists will reclassify all these names and change all these names. What won't change is that Polyspora are a truly fantastic addition to the woodland garden, and that everyone will be growing them in 20 years or so and saying, have you not got one? They're fantastic.